New for us here tonight at 10, a plea from city leaders in Chicago's south suburbs. They say all the attention on violence and tax relief has been centered on the city of Chicago, but they say they need help too. CBS 2's Jermont Terry sat down with four mayors to talk solutions. Just south of Chicago sits various villages and suburbs. From Calumet Park all the way to University Park is considered the Southland and four leaders. I am the mayor of Linwood. I'm the mayor of Burnham. I'm the mayor of Markham. I am the mayor of the village of Phoenix. All members of the Southland Regional Mayoral Black Caucus sat down with me to talk about what's needed and lacking in these communities. We definitely need funding. Jada Curry is in the middle of her first term in Linwood. She and some Southland mayors recently met with Governor J.B. Pritzker. The topic? Increase the percentage of local government distribution fund, or LGDF, where cities get money based on the percentage of total state income tax revenues. Our LGDF percentage was lowered over these past years. We've lost roughly $6 million in revenue. If you hand me $6 million today, I could do some transform transformative things in my village. Taxes and economic development are key issues in the south suburbs, which is why there's huge support for a third airport in Piatone. There hasn't been a strong economic engine in the Southland like that in 40, 50 years. So with one business coming in with just the airport, I mean, that'll be some tax base. And perhaps to maybe build some more facilities. And the tax will begin to go down for the individual homeowners. While policing dominates any city budgets, in Phoenix, Mayor Terry Wells tells me the Illinois mandate to have all police agencies have body cameras by 2025 brings another burden. It's not just the cameras, it's the uh, storing of all that information, which can get to be very tax. expensive. And with no full-time IT employee in Phoenix, the attempt to be transparent in policing, he says, further drains the budget. And so that's the kind of thing that a small community like mine struggles with. Um, and then the other thing is funding for police officers. Police pay is low and turnover is high. So we have a bunch of part-time officers. And officers patrolling in the south suburbs are putting in extra work with crime spilling over from Chicago. What happens in Chicago it's not staying in Chicago. Whether it's the pop-up teen takeovers threatening communities. I think the uh, town next to us, I believe we had one last week, a week before last, so we was calling in to assist Cal Citizens. Or crooks running into the south suburbs. We get the residual or some of the things that where the, the criminal may flee to the south. Mayor Roger Ekpawa remains vocal about ISP installing more license plate reading technology on expressways surrounding the Southland. We want to further have dialogue about what happens on our borders and how things uh, trickle into the suburbs. As the need keeps growing, these mayors are determined to keep pushing for equity for those they represent. In the Southland, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.